actually, I didn't like painting for a really long time because I, I don't like acrylic paint. It just it dries too fast. I can't make it do the things that I want it to do. But then when I was a sophomore in high school, I tried oils for the first time and it like changed everything completely, like blew my mind and opened up this whole new world. And I've been in love with oils ever since. The whole thing was a really surreal experience just because I've been getting ready for this show. Like this entire time I've been at school. Install was three 18 hour days in a row. <laughs> and now that it's over, it's an even weirder feeling, but it's kind of nice. Like I can breathe a little bit now. So I've always been interested in drawing people. Uh, I really love portraits. Lately, I've been thinking a lot about like themes of queerness, presentation, religion, continuing the themes that I was exploring with my BFA show. So like queerness in Catholic spaces. I've been doing that a lot through self-portraits. Um, I am interested in painting other people. I'm interested in painting other personas of my own. And then continuing with these building of structures um, with different materials. I wouldn't say I'm like a drag queen. I've never performed or anything, but I, I like to dress up and take photos. So maybe it's a little surface level, I don't know. But there's something really exciting about putting yourself into this intense costume. Often, actually, people don't realize that it's a self-portrait. Um, they ask me who she is. You can do anything you want and say anything you want and be whoever you want. It's kind of an interesting way to explore this um, different kind of intersection of my identity. And painting yourself as different personas adds another layer to your work and your perception. I you know, was in the closet for a very long time, um, like a lot of us are, and had a lot of really repressed feelings, a lot of kind of internalized homophobia. And we were a Catholic family. The queerness or gayness was not ever discussed. And when, I didn't know it was even a thing that you could do um, or be until I was in third grade. And um, somebody called me the F word. <laughs> so immediately upon like learning, I was being told that it was a bad thing and a thing that you don't want to be. Now that I feel like I'm really getting to a place where I'm comfortable with myself, you know, my family has really opened their minds a lot and comfortable trying new things and presenting myself in ways that I, I've always wished that I could but haven't been able to. Um, that I'm now able to look back and really unpack these um, internalized traumas and um, feelings that I've never been able to explore before. I think the worst is just when you um, fall out of inspiration and, you know, maybe something doesn't get finished. The, the really beautiful thing about paint, it's just a series of mistakes until you get it right. You, you know, you mess something up and then you put more paint on top of it. And then you put more paint on top of that and then more on top of that. And, um, or you can wipe paint away, which is, I think, another reason that I love painting is that you can really just continue endlessly um, working. And sometimes the hardest part is deciding when it's done. Uh, I think if you just make the work that feels authentic to you, it'll, it'll all be coherent in the end.